drive throughs Big pandemic winner, we know that. Drivers looking for contactless access to restaurants. Well, Lydia Hu is with us, and she is at a diner in Clinton, New Jersey. Lydia, a diner with a drive through That is new to me. And new to me, and it's such a great thing, because you know what, Stuart? I hear eggs over easy is your favorite dish, so that's what we ordered for you here. I hope that's okay. But Clinton Station Diner, you place your order here, you pull up a little bit, pay at this pay station where Miss Ellie is today manning the cash register. You can say hi, Miss Ellie. She's gonna give you a parking spot number assigned to you. You just pull around and park your car and you wait for your food. But all of this, all of this is part of the rise in drive-throughs that we've seen during the pandemic as people were craving good eats, but they didn't want to have that human contact. And the owner here at Clinton Station Diner since, says since he installed the drive through here in February, he's already seeing an increase in his revenue coming through the door in the terms of thousands, and he hopes that it just grows over time. So he's really optimistic about this addition. But uh, Aaron Allen and Associates, that's a firm Hello, down in Florida. Easy oh, bacon. look at this. Our food already up. Speedy service, and it looks delicious. <laughs> but, your meal. Thank you very much. But the experts tell us that, you know, having a drive through it's can bring in a lot of money. 10 to 30 percent of profits through the door can be added just by a single drive through And it's not just the diners that are doing this. It's also the fast food chains and big corporate chains like Starbucks and Chipotle that are taking note. So what we're learning here, Stuart, is that it seems like this really is going to be the wave of the future and how restaurants are going to ride out the rest of the pandemic, possibly into the future. And I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to eating this, and I hope you'll come out to Clinton and join us. <laughs> it smells really good. If you're not careful, I will. Good story, Lydia. You, you can eat my <laughs> eggs for me. Thanks very much indeed. Let me bring oh, back Ed Renzi, who okay. has a lot to do with the, the restaurant industry. Ed, you heard Lydia's report. The drive through at a diner. Here to stay? Good business? Well, obviously, we're going to do what we have to do to serve the consumer under these very difficult circumstances with uh, the pandemic. Uh, will it last long term? One of the things about eating out is socialization. People need to see each other, join together. Uh, it's, it's a celebration of life. Uh, the drive through and eating alone gets pretty old after a while. Uh, drive throughs are a convenience for time-compressed people. 26 to 35 percent of the business going through the drive through are people that are on the run. Uh, when it comes time for dinner, when it comes time for a Sunday brunch, people want to sit down together, have conversation, discuss events of the day, family business. So I think long term they're going to exist. I think people will use them, but not to the extent we are today. Now, curbside pickup, I think, is going to be important for a long time because there's a lot of people that are mobility restricted, can't go out in public because they have some kind of co communicable disease or they have some other uh, immune system issues. So I think that's going to be beneficial. I think restaurants have learned how to do curbside pickup and done it effectively. Um, so I think that's going to be here to stay. Uh, but look, the world always changes. We're going we're gonna to bend and flow and move with the wind. And as we need to change our business models, we'll change them. I think the pandemic has forced us to move a lot quicker than we normally would have. I think it's yeah, to it the did. benefit of everyone. Yeah. It saved our economy in a lot of ways, actually. It changed things real fast, and that is a fact. Ed Renzi, thank you very much indeed, sir. We'll see you again real soon.